Multi Threat is in the key of D major. There's two sharps, F sharp, C sharp, D major. D major sounds like this. Okay. And it's written in 4-4, but it has a little bit of an interesting lilt going on because it's a hornpipe. We kind of feel like it's in compound time or triplets, even though it's not. So if I just look at the music and I read my print music super literally, it sounds like this. That doesn't really sound like a hornpipe to me. If you need to know what a hornpipe is, Google is really helpful. But basically it's a sailor dance. So it lilts, it's got a kind of sideways feeling. Yada da dum ba ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba da. Wherever we see two quavers, we're going to play them like they're triplets. And like the first quaver is two triplets slurred and the next quaver is one of the triplets. So it feels like one, two, three, one, two, three. Da 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 one two three 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 I think the easiest thing is just to show you. Sounds like this. specifically as it's written but again if you want to change it change it find out what happens if you take all the slurs out or if you add extra ones how does that change the notes how does it shift the accents do you like it do you dislike it does it make it easier to echo does it make it harder to echo all these questions are really really good to answer and and to play around with when you don't have a okay I have to sound exactly like this find out what you like Here's my slow version. I'm gonna play both repeats. The piece is divided into two chunks. First chunk repeat, second chunk repeat. And it has that lilt all the way through it. Okay, that doesn't change. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Faster, I would advise staying in the lower half of the bow, makes your string crossings much easier and gives you that again, it's just easy to have that rollicking feeling. One, two, three. <laughs>
after you, that's fine. Go back to the start of the video and play it again slowly with me a couple of times, okay? Get comfortable with it. Mordants, ornaments, extra notes. Well, we're in D major, so easy notes to add would be the D and probably the F sharp and the A because that's the D major primary triad, right? One, three, five out of the scale. Oct um, arpeggio. You could add an F sharp under the D. You could add a G. Da da da. Oh, that's awkward. Don't do that. That feels awful. But the F sharp sounds pretty good. So. Okay, so we have grace notes and mordants available to us. You could stick a trill in there. I don't know. You can borrow from your D major triad. Um, there's a spot that suggests using an E minor chord. Okay, E minor. play around with this a lot of Irish pieces will have um, suggested chords for a guitar accompaniment and so by grabbing that suggestion like oh a D major chord I could use any of those notes underneath the one that I've got in my music which is oh yeah that sounds great G under my next note D major chord at the end. Ah. So if you want to play around with stuff like that, have a pencil handy and be prepared to do a bit of working out. There's absolutely nothing wrong with writing your primary triad notes out. D major, D, F sharp, A, G major, G, G, A, B, G, B, G, A, B, C, D, G, B, D, one, three, five. So a primary triad is the first, third, and fifth note of the scale. And if you write those notes underneath, then you might say, okay, yep, cool. Well, I really like playing D major. Oh yeah, Now I have a G major chord available to me. I'm playing the top note already. Ah, oh, but if I put my third finger between the strings, I can play the fifth. And my next chord is suggested as a D major chord, so I can... Cool! And that's how you can make a piece much more multi-layered and complex. So, I hope that that's of use to you. Show you it one more time a bit faster. Okay, one more time, a little bit faster. One, two, three.